Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Simon, I'm sure that just like you, I am still hyped for the Last Jedi teaser trailer that we've just seen at Star Wars Celebration. Um, I've taken a good 20 minutes or so just to firstly calm down and also to have a look through the trailer itself to see um, you know, if I can pick up on any little bits that you know we may have missed in the first couple of showings. Um, it is a relatively short teaser trailer. Uh, there isn't a whole lot that is revealed in this um, in terms of storyline, but it's just epic just to actually see something so we're going to go through this bit by bit and uh, we're going to pick it apart so let's begin okay so we've got this very beginning intro part so I'm going to I'm going to pause it right there now this is obviously Michael Skellig Island um, most people may think that this is Luke running Ray right through the paces you know he's got her in training and he's got a um, you know, obviously doing something very intensive. I actually think that she has had another vision here. Um, we can see a cave in the background. And the look on her face to me doesn't say, I've just been through an intense exercise. It says to me, I've just had an intense vision. And I don't know what to make of it. Very similar to what we saw in the first film. Um, or the seventh episode. <laughs> um, so I think she's probably... This is the entrance to... The cave where the temple is. Uh, she may have had a flashback, maybe to something we see a little bit later in the teaser, which is the Jedi Academy burning. Um, but yeah, she definitely looks like she's had another one of those experiences, like with the lightsaber in the Force Awakens. Now, again, we're listening to Luke. This is something I didn't think we'd hear. I didn't think they would put Luke's voice in the trailers. I thought they were going to tease us again. Um, very much like in The Force Awakens, we didn't get to see Luke. I thought in this version, we weren't going to get to hear Luke. We'd see him, but we wouldn't hear him, but we did. Um, and in the beginning part of the trailer, it's all breathing techniques. Very much what you would expect to hear from a Jedi Master training a Padawan. Just breathe. I love the music as well. Nice little bit of force juice there. What do you see? Now, this is where things pick up. This is General Leia. We saw her in the photos in the last Jedi panel. Um, their hair is exactly that way. Um, I really like the hairstyle. Um, she looks very regal and she looks very in command. Um, the actual console itself is very um, remin reminiscent of the panel in Yavin. Um, but I actually feel that we're going to be on a command ship here, whether it's Home 1, whether it's a Corellian Corvette, I'm not entirely certain. Um, we do, I mean, I am picking up kind of Corellian Corvette um, style architecture a little bit later on in the trailer, so I don't know. Either way, I think we will see a Corellian Corvette, but this could be a separate command ship. Like. Kylo's helmet. Now... They put in Vader's breathing here, very similar to the first, um, to the to the Force Awakens. And the trailers there, we saw the close up of Vader's ruined mask. We now get a close up of Kylo's ruined mask. How do we know it's Kylo's? You can see from the patterning just here, um, that is the same patterning on the grill that we saw, um, you know, from Kylo's helmet. Um, it's definitely not Vader's. The metalwork here is too pristine. Uh, for it to be Vader's charred helmet. It looks like he smashed some kind of a table or a window. Probably in anger. I don't know why. Maybe he's having second thoughts about the whole dark side thing. Um, but it's very interesting. It looks like we're either getting a new mask or he's going maskless for, for at least a portion of this uh, this film. Now this is going to be inside of the cave network, I assume, on Acto. Um, we'd heard about a force tree, and if you look at the actual surroundings of this little cave, they look very much like tree trunks. They look like the roots of a tree. So my guess is that the tree has embedded itself down deep into the ground, and that's where this Jedi temple is. And... There is, this is probably where Luke has spent many years 
meditating and learning about the Force. The symbol of the Jedi. Um, very interesting that they put that in here. Again, it looks like a book, an old book that um, has seen better days. But do we know whether it could be a, a Jedi book or it could be just a a book about the Force in general? Uh, maybe Luke has discovered something about the Jedi that you know he he obviously realizes that's why it needs to end. Who who knows? A balance. You can hear a lightsaber in the background, and it's here. So now Luke says it's so much bigger, which means that he has seen beyond the Jedi and the Sith, the light and the dark. I'm really excited by this because for years we've been taught that that is the be-all and end-all of Star Wars. The light side, the dark side. But if, if Luke can see the bigger picture, what is that? We see Daisy here, uh, or Rey, you know. Looks like she's quite wildly swinging the lightsaber. Um, but I'm guessing this is the practice area. We've, we've again heard about Luke looking down on her uh, as she, you know, um, practices with the lightsaber. It looks pretty cool. Epic music. Now, this again is something that I read in the lead up because I, 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 as much as I want to avoid spoilers, I take any tidbit that I can. These are the new, what they called Gorilla 8080s. Um, from a distance, they don't look too dissimilar to normal 8080s. Um, but you can see here that there is a slight, I think, separation in the legs, almost as if. Um, you know, the joints are a bit wider, um, and I think they are much larger than um, anything that we'll have seen. The planet itself, I think this is going to be Snoke's homeworld. We've heard again about the Mars, the Mars ta style planet with the, the red sand, um, the very kind of barren planet. Um, but what interests me more is these little speeder concoctions. We get a better shot of them here. Whoever that pilot is. Whoever the pilot is there is obviously either just taking a big plunge off a cliff or is not very experienced. Um, yeah, look at these very cool kind of... Um, they almost look like B-wings, if the B-wings were to be made into a ground vehicle. You can see the cockpit on the side here, and there's a little extra bit on the side. And um, you know, these little extendable joints almost that seem to kick up the sand. I don't know whether that's intentional or whether these have been modified, but it looks cool as hell. Finn in what we assume was that back to suit that they were talking about. Um, you know, we all know he wakes up because, well, I think we see him in a shot after. Oh, we don't. We see Poe running through a um, ship. Again, this kind of, to me, has the kind of design scheme of a Corellian Corvette, but again, it can't be 100% confirmed i guess looks like there's a big battle going on we know there's going to be a big space battle which i am hyped for but uh yeah it looks like he's on his way to his x-wing and said so x-wing is about to get blown up um an a-wing on the left hand side here which is nice to see that um we aren't just going to be getting x-wings against tie fighters um now one bit of uh discussion i want to raise here is this explosion I think actually comes from the inside. I think this is either an internal hit or it's a bomb that goes off. I think this is someone trying to take out Poe because Poe is the top man in the resistance in terms of, you know, his ability to fly. Um, you can see here there's the tip of another A-wing, I think, just here. I think someone has either planted a bomb or the First Order has specifically targeted this hangar knowing that that Poe is here. Um, it's just speculation at this point, but I like the design. This this kind of um, is very similar to the uh, Return of the Jedi hangar from Home One. It could it could be Home One. This is this is what kind of makes me feel like it could be because this is as similar to anything we've seen before. Um, you know, if you were to say what does this most look like, I'd say Home One. Now again, the Falcon. In battle over the uh, planet again i'm going to speculate this could be snoke's homeworld we may get a mission whereby they engage the first order at their home um no idea who's piloting the falcon chewy maybe finn um we know ray's an excellent pilot but i don't think we're going to see her back in the the cockpit I, we may 
I don't know, but uh, just some standard First Order TIE Fighters there. Now, Ray running lightsaber ignited with a pretty intense look on her face. It's becoming nightfall. I do think this is um, on Acto, the fight with the uh, with Kylo and the Knights of Ren. But there is a scene coming up in a second which makes me doubt this just a little bit as to whether this specific shot is coming from that. Um, and I will show you in a second. Only no one this shot here. Now, what we can see is Kylo unmasked. He has his scar here, so this is not a flashback. And what we can see, if we were to play the clip here, there is rainfall in the background. Now, one thing that we've seen from some of the pictures in uh, the Last Jedi panel is on Acto, it is raining during a scene. I think that this is from the battle on Acto. Um, and look, Kylo just looks so pissed there, doesn't he? Um, it's going to be interesting to see how his scars have come out. But um, yeah, I think this is Acto. I think the, the shot from before might be Acto at the beginning of, uh, beginning of the battle, but it could also be somewhere else. Now this shot, this is the Jedi Academy. This is the, the burning of the Academy, as far as I can tell. Um, I'd be surprised if it was anything but that, because R2 is here. And whilst I know that R2 is, you know, on Acto with Luke now, this seems too reminiscent. Um, you know, it, it, I just can't see there being a big building like this. It looks very kind of Jedi Temple-ish, should I say. Um, you know, and, and it kind of evokes the, the shot from the Force Awakens where we saw Luke uh, rocking back and forward, putting his hand on R2... Um, in front of a funeral pyre. This is a pretty cool shot here. Phasma with stormtroopers uh, marching into... I can't quite make out. It kind of looks like a hangar. I think this is a First Order ship. Um, there's a lot of debris. There's a very pristine, pristinely clean floor, which is one of the trademarks of the, the Empire and the First Order is their floors are impeccably clean to the point where they almost mirror everything above them. Uh, the arches here on the left kind of evoke as well um, a First Order corridor. Can't see too much of the Stormtroopers yet. I, I was trying to pinpoint an execution of Stormtrooper, which we've heard rumours of. All I can make out is this Stormtrooper here with the black shoulder pad. Um, but it looks like he's carrying a conventional rifle. Either way, this is a pretty badass shot because seeing Phasma come through the smoke and we know we're going to get a lot more of Gwendolyn Christie in this film, which I'm excited for. Now, um, let me just try and roll back a second there. Here we have Space Battle. There is an A-Wing there. Otherwise, it's a lot of X-Wings and TIE Fighters. One thing I am a little bit disappointed by is the fact that it doesn't seem as though we have a lot of variation on First Order ships that we've seen so far. It just seems tied to be TIE Fighters. I love these cool kind of Nebulon frigates that have been cut in half. I'm assuming that... Um, uh, I'm assuming that these are very much just the upgraded version you know they've done away with the rear section probably because that was the the weakness of the nebulon b frigate was that little thin um structure in the middle that connected the two bits if that was hit then it was pretty much going to split the ship in two i very much like these little gun turrets here they remind me of the gunships from uh, attack the clones uh, the little bubbles you know where you'd have the clones shooting the the green lasers out i'm wondering if they've taken design inspiration from that but again it just looks cool. Um, a very nice uh, space battle. And it looks like this could be the Republic fleet rather than the Resistance fleet. It looks like they're getting together. And um, yeah, we're going to see a big battle. It's time for the Jedi to end. And time for the Jedi to end. Now, that can mean many things it can mean luke has turned to the dark side very very unlikely in my opinion i think more that he's realized that the jedi and the sith need to come to an end and there is something more than that that's what i think it means um right away through the trailer epic music um again they've given us little breadcrumbs as to what is actually happening here um 
and I'm excited. I, I still don't know what to make of it. But I think it looks like it's going to blow the Force Awakens out the water so far. You can definitely tell it's got a different um, directional style in Ryan Johnson um, compared to J.J. Abrams. Um, I think there's going to be a lot less fan service, a lot less comedy. I think this is going to be much darker. Um, but I'm excited. So, anyway, guys, um, if I've missed anything out, I would love for you to, to let me know. Um, you know, what are you thinking of the trailer? I'd love to get your thoughts. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you very soon.